This is LK, the VHS guy, and it's time for a VHS and VCD update for May 19th, 2018. Let's not waste any time, so let's get started. This is the sequel to The Whole Nine Yards, which I have on DVD. And this is a Warner Brothers tape from 2004. Purchased from Blockbuster on September 8th, 2004. July 13th, 2004. The next two are Embassy tapes. Part of the Samuel Goldwyn Classic Collection, both films starring Danny Kaye. This one is The Kid from Brooklyn, a 1946 film. And this one is The, Se the Secret Life of Walter Mitty, a 1947 film. And this is the original film. Both recorded on Scotch cas Scott cassettes. And the next one's an MGM tape. And this is a Jeanette McDonald and Nelson Eddy film. And the next one's a sealed tape from MCA Home Video. And this is an early Clint Eastwood film, Coogan's Bluff. And this tape is from 1988. And the next two are Republic Pictures tapes. This is one from the All American Heroes collection. June 11th, 1992. This is a 1987 film, not to be confused with the 1995 film with the same name starring Susan Sarandon and Tim Robbins. This is a completely different film. September 25th, 1997, and this is a former article from Video Events. And although this is a reprint, it still has the same opening as the original 1988 VHS. And the first couple of tapes I got at a thrift store. This is a sequel to the first Hot Shots film. And this is a former rental from an unknown video store. The 50th week of 1993. And this is a live home videotape from 1994. And it's a previously viewed tape. The 34th week of 1994. And this is a former rental from an unknown video store. This is a pretty rare tape, so I just couldn't pass this one up. And this is the sequel to Atlanta's Full Lost Empire. April 17th, 2003. And here's another seal tape. This is from Polygram Video. I thought this looked interesting, so I would just, just definitely had to grab it. And the next two are Warner Brothers Family Entertainment tapes. September 12th, 1993. And this is a former rental from Rainbow Video. And this stars Ed O'Neill, who was in the sitcom Married with Children. December 12th, 1994. Another former runner from Rainbow Video. And 
Now we're going to the tips I got at the Goodwill in Warsaw, Indiana. And this is a new one home video tape, co-released by Columbia TriStar. And this tape is from 1992. November 4th, 1992. And this is a former rental from an unknown video store. And this is a Miramax tape from the late 90s. Purchased on January 24th, 2001. The reels are yellowed, but unfortunately, uh, unfortunately the reels are yellowed, but obviously that's not going to affect how it plays. And this is an RC Columbia Pictures home videotape from 1990. And this is a TriStar film. The 49th week of 1990. And this is a former rental from an unknown video store. And here's another MCA home videotape. This time from 1985. And this one's a former rental from Video Expo. This one's a former rental from Video World in Warsaw, which is where the Goodwill is. Which I got several tapes that are former rentals from that store before. The 26th week of 1999. I know Brandon Movie Guy has this tape as well. And this is the former rental from an online video store, March 12, 1998. And here's another former rental from Blockbuster. Purchased on April 21st, 2002. The third week of 2002. Here's another new line tape, just like One Night Stand. Purchased on Valentine's Day 2003. Here's another former rental from Blockbuster again, just like the last two. June 19th, 2000. The sixth week of 2000. And here's a resealed former rental. And unfortunately, the cover of this one is really faded. But that's alright. And this is a Paramount Golf and Western tape from 1989. The 17th week of 1990. Here's an Orion home videotape from 1994. And the box to this one is in terrible condition. October 8th, 1994. This is a formal from Video Express in Flora, Indiana. Here's the last tape for part one, and this is a Fox video tape from 1993, and this is a former rental from Martin's Supermarket. The 19th week of 1993, and that's going to be it for part one, and stay tuned for part two.